Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in the last few videos in this series, we have seen how to automate uh, your debugging and reversing effort using Frida on Windows platform. So starting from this tutorial, we are going to see how can you do some basic instrumentation using Frida on Android devices as well. Uh, so the first thing first, uh, to be able to instrument uh, any Android uh, application, uh, you need a rooted emulator. So for this particular example, I'm going to use uh, the BlueStack emulator, uh, which is very popular among gamers. Uh, so let's get started. Let's start the emulator first. So by default, BlueStack doesn't come as rooted. Uh, so you have to, uh, once you install BlueStack, after that you have to uh, use a BlueStack Tweaker utility to get it rooted. There are plenty of uh, tutorials available on the internet. You can refer any of those. Uh, so it's a pretty very simple procedure. Uh, two, three clicks are required once you have that software. Uh, so I have already done this uh, route. Uh, so my device is already rooted. As you can see, if I go to, uh, root checker as you can see I have a perfectly rooted device uh, now uh, you have to enable uh, ADB Android debug bridge on your emulator so for that you have to go to preferences and you have to check this particular uh, checkbox uh, which is actually uh, enable Android debug bridge uh, and to be able to connect with this uh, particular emulator you need uh, Android platform toolset as well so it comes with Android Studio uh, the executable that we're going to need is uh, ADB. So this is our this is going to be our working directory. Uh, so let's see. Uh, ADB is already added in our uh, environment uh, variable, so I should be able to access it here. Uh, as you can see, I am able to access. So if you do ADB devices you should be able to see what all devices are connected. So this is our emulator that are being that are actually connected to ADB. Mm, so if you do this uh, now, if you want to get into the ADB shell, this is what you have to do. Just a second. Mm, why it is not working? Yeah, as you can see, we have got the shell and we also have this uh, utility called SU, Super SU. Uh, so uh, if you just do just like a Linux system, if you do, you are you are actually you now you have got the root shell. Uh, so our working directory within the device will be uh, data local temp. So we are going to keep all our required files in this particular folder. Uh, so mm, so one more to, uh, one more uh, software you need to download from the internet is called Frida Server. So you need to basically download Frida server depending on your uh, your Android version. Uh, so I'll show you how can you download that. How to, how can you check your Android architecture and how can you download? Mm, you you need to use this particular utility to be able to uh, just I can just exit from the shell. You have to do this, and as you can see, I have x86 uh, 32 bit. Uh, so now you need to download Frida server from this particular page github.com slash Frida slash releases. So if you do Frida dash server and we need uh, Android x86. So this is a zip file that we need. It's getting downloaded. Okay, let's move it to our working directory. Uh, let's extract it. So I'll just simply. Okay. Uh, I'll just do like this. Yes. And I'll just keep it here. I can delete all these things. So the next thing that you have to do here, you need to push this file to this directory mm, that we have seen data local temporary. So how can you do that? You have what you have to do? You have to do ADB. Sorry, ADB push. And you have to do Frida server. Uh, 
pride a server and the target directory which is this the file is successfully transmitted now you can just go to adb shell so sorry for this one there is this yeah so cd data local temp as you can see we have it now you have to change the permission to chmod 777 friday server so the next thing you do, what you have to do you have to start this uh, friday server on your android devices so that uh, your you from from your uh, system you should be able to access that interact with that server so let's get out of from get out of here uh, just clear the gray screen and this is the path and this is what you have to do okay unable to save ac linux policy to kernel permission denied oh so we got an error let's see if we can go to adb shell again uh, become the root go to our data local temp and if we run friday server like this if it works or not okay now if we try to access uh, this from our system let's see if it works or not as you can see we are able to get all the processes that are running on our devices so this is a very which means your frida setup on your this particular emulator is working now if you launch any app here for example if you launch amazon you should be able to see that process within here here you go in dot amazon m shop so if you are uh, if you are able to uh, list out all the processes that is running on your device right which means your friday installation is successful so in the next video we are going to see how can you do some basic instrument instrumentation using friday on android devices so thank you for watching uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel i would uh, recommend you to uh, do subscribe to my channel because i'll be uploading a lot of other videos tutorials on uh, reverse engineering topic so yeah, thank you so much.